Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a look at some of our stories tonight. Request denied as the parents of the Oxford High School shooter tried to attend his sentencing. James and Jennifer Crumbly filed a motion to attend Ethan's sentencing in December. They're charged with involuntary manslaughter. The parents have been in custody since shortly after the 2021 shooting, accused of contributing to the tragedy by making a gun accessible to their son at home and ignoring his mental health needs. Their trial begins in January. A Mount Pleasant man will spend decades behind bars for sexually abusing a child. 39 year old Jason Pago pleaded guilty to aggravated sexual abuse charges back in June. According to court records in 2016 or 2017, Pago sexually abused a seven year old in his care. He took photos of the victim during the assault and threatened to hurt the victim and their family if they told anyone. Pago was sentenced to 30 years in federal prison. Crime Stoppers is offering up to $2,500 leading to an arrest in an 18 year olds murder. Alex Madrano was shot to death inside a home on Aurora Court in Flint Township on July 5th last year around 11 at night. Multiple rounds were fired into the home, killing Madrano and injuring another teen. If you know anything, call Crime Stoppers. Now here's Chris. And yeah, we've got showers passing through tonight. Those showers a little bit heavier off to the north, and then this rain is expected to fill in elsewhere as the night goes along. So areas that may not be seeing as much now, you will have your turn later tonight. You'll also be the slowest to clear as we head through tomorrow as the system pretty much wraps back around itself into Saturday. Now, as far as the overnight forecast, we expect rain to be pretty consistent. I actually think this model right here clears us out a little bit too soon. I think we'll have rain lingering through about the first half of the day. Day, but once we get to lunchtime, we'll start to see things taper off to just spotty showers for the afternoon and evening. I think that's the same uh, similar story as our Sunday. As far as the forecast for Central Michigan goes tomorrow, a big day in Mount Pleasant homecoming. Temperatures will be around the upper 40s at kickoff. I think rain is just spotty at that point, so conditions should improve for the game, but it will be chilly and it will be breezy and pretty much the same story for the Wolverines as they take on Indiana at the big house. Temperatures in the upper 40s to near 50 and we'll We'll also have a better chance at rain during that game with Ann Arbor being a little bit farther to the south. Our winds tomorrow also pick up gusts in the afternoon could be near 40 miles per hour near the lakeshore. Temperatures tonight are expected to be in the 40s and then tomorrow we're expecting highs only to be in the 50s and will likely feel much cooler than that thanks to the wind that will be around tomorrow. Your seven day forecast does show temperatures warm up a little bit towards Wednesday of next week. Our next chance for rain after uh, Tuesday appears to come in as soon as Thursday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 seven for the latest news, weather and information.